Now that Swift 5 has ABI stability, Apple are keen to start moving their own projects over to Swift as soon as possible. In order to help get Apple's thousands of Objective-C developers up to speed, Xcode 10.2 includes a new Apple internal mode that adjusts the error messages to be a little bit more, uh, blunt, shall we say. To enable it, all you have to do is create a new Xcode project and name it Apple Internal, capital A, capital I, with no space between. You can make it for iOS, macOS, or whatever you want. Any platform works. I'm going to choose macOS Terminal because it's easiest to test. Now Xcode automatically recognizes the project's called Apple Internal and enables a new Swift internal menu item up here, which adds support for functionality that isn't released to the public. I'll select Enable Internal Diagnostics Now, which is what activates the internal-only error messages. With that enabled, Xcode gives us very different feedback when we make a variety of common Swift errors. For example, if I write var i with no value next to it, then try and build my program, you'll see Xcode says, what the hell is this? Do you think this is some sort of game? Or if I made that into var i equals zero, then on the next line wrote i++, you'll see Xcode gently remind me that such code no longer works in Swift. You'll also see various messages designed to help remind folks that Objective-C's days have passed. For example, if I start creating an Objective-C string, ns string star stir equals at quote quote, you'll see it says Objective-C, you're looking for Objective-C. Of course, when they move to Swift strings, Xcode helps to enforce some rules that just don't exist in Objective-C. For example, folks who've been using Swift for a while know you can't subscript a string using an integer. But with many Apple engineers using Swift for the first time, Xcode's on hand to help out. So if I say, let stir equals hello Swift, then print stir zero, you'll see Xcode say, Michael Ilsman aged 10 years making Swift strings work properly, and this is how you repay him? The internal mode has a few interesting tweaks to help Apple's developers get to grips with more advanced Swift features, like optionals and throwing functions. For example, if I made a new function that takes a string parameter and can throw errors like this, func create user name string throws, print creating string interpolation name, then end the function. Now, if I try and call that with an optional string, obviously we know we either need to unwrap the string carefully or force unwrap it. So code like this won't work. Let username optional string equals two straws. Create username, username. As you can see, Xcode offers a fix it here to force unwrap the optional and even stays on brand by referencing Apple's Everyone Can Code initiative. But even if I hadn't used an optional, that code doesn't catch any errors, so Xcode will send back a different error. If you do this one more time, Chris Latner will personally throat punch you. It's interesting here because Chris Latner left Apple a few years ago, so clearly these special diagnostic messages have been there for a long time. Anyway, enough of the Swift code. I want to show off one other interesting option we get with the Apple internal project, which is up here. It's called Hey Xcode and lets you create apps in a wholly new way. I'll select that now, and you can see in my top right, a new icon appears. I'm going to give it a try. <coughs> hey Xcode. Make me a new Marzipan project using iOS 13. Oh, for f***.